The Fallout series is one of the longest running and critically acclaimed RPGs on the market. For over 25 years, players have been exploring the irradiated wasteland of post-war America. Over these 25 years, there have been multiple iterations of the Fallout formula. These iterations include traditional isometric RPGs, more casual friendly first person shooters, and horse shit. Now each of these styles have their own unique fans, but they somehow all come together peacefully as fans of the greater Fallout series. Just kidding, they fucking hate each other. That's why I took it upon myself to set the fan base back 10 years by asking for your guys' hot takes, and some of them were interesting. I asked my subscribers as well as my Discord members, link in the description, for their Fallout related unpopular opinions, and I'll be ranking them on a scale from colder than Mr. House's dead corpse to hotter than Nick Valentine. Now some of these are definitely unique, but don't send these kind people any hate because they took time out of their day to answer my stupid ass question, and at the end of the day, it's a video game. I promise it's not that deep, the grass is just right out there. Go on bud. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get into these takes. I'll start with one I got multiple different variations of, but they all pretty much say the same thing. Bethesda ruined Fallout, and the series was better off ending at 2. Now whether or not I agree with it aside, this is a pretty lukewarm take. Bethesda hate is probably at an all time high right now following Starfield's launch. If this was back in like 2012, this may be controversial, but as a whole now it's pretty commonly held. I enjoy both Interplay Fallout as well as Bethesda Fallout, but I can't understand the frustration OG fans must have. We're going to slap this one at about a 3.5 on our hotness scale. On the complete opposite side of the spectrum, we have Goat Fan with, Fallout 3 is a quintessential entry for getting into the series. It handles the emotional aspect while using previously established ideas and concepts from the first two games. Oh boy. Now Fallout 3 is the game I love talking about the most. If I'm too critical on it, I get called a New Vegas loving boomer who hasn't left their mom's basement in years. If I praise it too much, I get OG fans calling me Bethesda shill who couldn't finish the Temple of Trials to save his life. In reality, I think Fallout 3 is one of the more middling games in the series, but I do agree with you to a certain degree. Fallout 3 is my introduction to the series, and I'm sure it was for a lot of you too. If nothing else, we have that to thank the game for. The second half though is where you kinda lose me. 3 does use previously established ideas and concepts from the first two games, but honestly it kinda does them all worse. The Brotherhood of Steel, Enclave, and even Super Mutants are handled better in Fallout 1 and 2. As for the emotional aspect, I don't know man, none of this really does anything for me. But Fallout 3 is the internet's favorite game to bully, so we'll rank this a solid 6 out of 10. Preston Garvey's a likable character and one of the most useful companions in Fallout 4. This take is actually insane and this man should be revoked of all internet privileges. But you know what? He's right. For years I've been sitting idly back as the internet has done nothing but ridicule this poor man. But I'm done staying silent. Preston Garvey is a good, no, great companion. I f***ing love this man. Preston gang rise up. 8 out of 10. Fallout 5 needs to be set in America and not in China or Mexico. I'd say as a whole, this is a pretty unpopular opinion among fans. I've seen so many people ask for a Fallout game set outside of America, and even Fallout veteran Tim Kaine expressed his interest in a foreign Fallout. Fallout has always found its identity in 1950s Americana, so it would be hard to separate it from that. But I'd be lying if I said the idea of a Fallout outside of America didn't have me interested. I wouldn't want it in China or Russia or any other boring country like that. I'd want it in a cool one, like Papua New Guinea. 6 out of 10. My hot take is that Fallout New Vegas is actually a really good game, and there's a reason why so many people think it's the best Fallout game. How do you ask a New Vegas fan if they like the game? You don't. They tell you. YouTube user Eros X Chaos said it best when he replied, New Vegas fanboys are so slavishly up New Vegas's behind that when asked for a quote, hot take, they can't help but ask New Vegas to have their baby. Now X Chaos might seem harsh here, but he's right. New Vegas fans would list this game as their emergency contact if they were able to. Sorry little bro, but that take is colder than Mr. House's frozen dong. One on the scale. Fallout Van Buren would easily be considered the best in the franchise if it existed. Now for those of you that aren't familiar, Fallout Van Buren was a working title for the original Fallout 3 by Interplay, long before Bethesda bought the IP from them. Even though the game was cancelled over 20 years ago, we actually know quite a bit about Van Buren. In fact, I actually made a video about it you can watch here. I'd say this opinion on Van Buren is pretty popular. 
Interplay would have taken everything they've learned from Fallout 1 and 2 and improved upon it, so why wouldn't it be the best in the franchise? A lot of ideas for Van Buren were eventually reused for New Vegas, and that game is widely considered the best in the series. All I'll say though is the Van Buren we have in our heads is probably better than the game we would have got. 3 out of 10. Deathclaw in Fallout 3 in New Vegas is a lot scarier, but also hot. Why? 9 out of 10. The TV show will act as a precursor to the announcement of Fallout 5. I just have that gut feeling that the announcement of the TV air date, April 12th, 2024, will lead to an announcement of a new game at the end of the season. Alright, so this guy says he has a gut feeling. Let's take a closer look and there it is. If you believe this, you're high on a level of copium that could fuel a Central American country for six days. With Starfield being released mere months ago, that means Bethesda's focus is now fully set on Elder Scrolls 6. You know, the game that's revealed trailer was almost six years ago. Yeah, they can finally start work on that game now. I could see them maybe showing a little tease at Fallout 5 in the show, but if anything, it'll be another one of these. And do we really want another one of these? 7.7 .7 out of 10. I don't love Fallout 4's power armor system. Now Fallout 4 is a somewhat controversial game in the series, but one of the most universally loved changes would be the power armor revision. Personally, I love the overhaul to power armor. It went from fairly boring regular armor in the older games to a hulking piece of machinery that requires upgrades and maintenance. It adds a whole other level of death that wasn't really present in Power Armor before. This take is interesting and pretty unpopular I'd imagine. 8 out of 10. While a great RPG, New Vegas' open world is the weakest. Outside of the Strip, it lacks and is surpassed by downtown DC and Boston. I can already feel the New Vegas fanboys angrily typing, but is he wrong? One of the most common criticisms of New Vegas is a somewhat empty feeling open world. Now I've never been a huge fan of DC, but some of the most fun I've had in the Fallout series has been in the Boston Ruins. This does criticize New Vegas though, so I'm going to put it at 6.5 out of 10. For the last take on the docket, I figured we'd end on a positive note. Fallout 5 will probably kill the franchise for good. Look, at this point, the only thing that could kill the franchise is Bethesda realizing they don't like money anymore. Strictly financially speaking, Fallout 5 is almost guaranteed to sell like crazy, especially if the TV show does well. Quality-wise, there's even more up for debate. Some people say the series died with Fallout 2. Some say Fallout 4 was the last good entry. Me personally, I'm hoping for the best, but we just have to wait and see. 4.5 out of 10. Well, those are just a few of your guys' submissions. I appreciate everyone leaving comments, even the ones that made me uncomfortable. If you guys have any Fallout unpopular opinions, be sure to comment them down below, and they might be included in the next one. If you like the video, liking and subscribing really helps the channel out a lot. I post videos just like this a couple times a month, so be sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of them. Lastly, big shout out to all of our channel's members. If you want to support the channel directly, as well as getting a few bonuses, be sure to click the join button down below. I think it's all for me. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.